Hello, I'm Hugh Bowden. I teach Ancient History at King's College London and I'm delighted to be taking part in Actors of Dionysus Daily Dose Ancient History Week. I'm going to read the words of the Delphic Oracle given to the Athenians at the time of Xerxes' invasion of Greece, as recorded in Herodotus' Histories. The translation is by George Campbell Macaulay. Wretches, why tarry thus? Nay, flee from your houses and city. Flee to the ends of the earth from the circle embattled of Athens. Body and head are alike, nor one is stable nor other. Hands and feet wax faint, and what so lieth between them wasteth in darkness and gloom. For flame destroyeth the city. Flame and the war god fierce, swift driver of Syrian horses. Many a fortress too, not thine alone shall he shatter. Many a shrine of the gods he'll give to the flame for devouring. Sweating for fear they stand, and quaking for dread of the foemen, running with gore of their roofs, foreseeing the stress of their sorrows. Wherefore I bid you be gone, have courage to lighten your evil. Vainly doth Pallas strive to appease great Zeus of Olympus. Words of entreaty are vain, and cunning counsels of wisdom. Nathus, a reed I will give thee again, of strength adamantine. All shall be taken and lost that the sacred border of Kekrops holds in keeping today, and the dales divine of Kithiron. Yet shall a wood-built wall by Zeus all-seeing be granted unto the Trito-born, a stronghold for thee and thy children. Bide not still in thy place, for the host that cometh from landward cometh with horsemen and foot. But rather withdraw at his coming, turning thy back to the foe. Thou yet shall meet him in battle. Salamis, isle divine, tis writ that children of women thou shalt destroy one day in the season of seed time or harvest.